example, German Defense Minister says that ThyssenKrupp AG is likely to bid for a project to supply six submarines for the Indian Navy. The world's largest democracy is looking to boost domestic defense manufacturing as it aims to counter China's growing presence in the Indian Ocean. Now, in March, India approved a budget of $6.8 billion dollars. Uh, for its Navy. The Indian Navy has 16 conventional submarines, 11 of them more than two decades old, along with two indigenous nuclear-powered submarines as well. In February, the news agency Reuters stated that ThyssenKrupp AG would bid for the multi-billion dollar project in a bid to replace the Indian Navy's aging submarine fleet. Western military manufacturers are attempting to wean New Delhi from its dependence on Russian gear. ThyssenKrupp, uh, a a AG's marine arm and India's Moscow dock shipbuilders are likely to jointly bid for the project in anticipation of the pact. Shares of the Indian shipbuilding yard rose as much as 7.7% to a record high. Submarines are a critical element of the maritime strategy for modern naval warfare planners. And as for the Center for Asia, Asian strategic studies, submarines contribute in all areas of maritime operational warfare, sea control, sea denial and maritime power projection. They are a vital element in any serious naval power order of battle. Siddhant Sibal is now joining us live from New Delhi for the latest on this. Well, Siddhant, the defense manufacturing giant had shown uh, little to no interest in jointly manufacturing submarines in India when the tender was announced two years ago. Since then, the geopolitical situation has changed. Uh, what more do you know about this deal? Well, the pact was expected to be signed today between TKMS and MDL. Uh, in fact, in next one hour, we'll get a confirmation as to uh, the pact being signed or not. But essentially, uh, that this was given and both the companies will be jointly bidding uh, under Project 75I of India. We know that in the past that uh, there have been countries like Russia, Spain, uh, and of course, South Korea also in the fray. But essentially, it looks like it's given that Germany will be part of uh, the construction and manufacturing of six, uh, six submarines here in India. But essentially, it has a geopolitical context as well at a time when uh, the Russia-Ukraine conflict uh, uh, continues and it has impacted globally uh, every country in several ways. Uh, India is also impacted uh, given India's reliance on Russian defense equipment. And India is uh, trying to uh, diversify in terms of finding new partners and in this entire geopolitics, Germany, it looks like, fits the bill. In fact, we saw the conversation between the German defense minister and the Indian defense minister yesterday, in which focus was as to how Germany can also ease their own regulatory hurdles inside the country so that India can get more defense equipment from Germany. Right. Uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there on what the Germany, German has to, Germany has to offer on the submarine deal.